with the, the seed, uh, roots, uh, stems, uh, branches and leaves and fruits. Like that if a concept is produced as a tree, then it is easily presentable and easily admirable. Second thing is multicircular and third thing is tabular, fourth thing is analytical, fifth thing is categorical. Innumerable such pictures are there. So you can encapsulate 10 pages of stuff uh, within a diagram which can occupy very least of a single page. That is encapsulation. And uh, the third thing is animation or beautification. What is beautification? If you are studying script which is lifeless, if you are seeing mere figures which are lifeless in script and in other pictures of your contextual textbooks, you have to imagine that they are moving. Your script should drive it. If you are studying a kellner survey process of ion extraction in chemistry book, by your individual enthusiasm, you have to make it drive. You have to close your eyes, imagine and see that ion is being extracted. It is very hard, nobody, no idiot will be interested in imagining about the extraction of an iron unless the person is personally tuned to be a chemist. Most of the people studying as a punishment, studying as an unavoidable menace included in the syllabus is different from studying by a person who is meant for that process. Most of the people, how many of the people studying chemistry are studying coercively, are studying compulsively and how many of them are studying with a commitment to establish an achievement or accomplishment in the task. Only two people among 100 will be planning to become a chemist or an alchemist or a chemical engineer. Rest of the other people, unavoidably as a minor, they are going to study it in the syllabus. This is common in mathematics and all other educational tools. That is the problem. Whereas in verification, the process of multimedia, it is not giving you the burden of self-imagination or auto-driving. It drives the same thing like it is being given inside, it is being molten inside and the same thing flows out and these are all the chemical equations and these are all the results. So everything instead of giving the burden it is like sitting inside the car and carrying the luggage on our head. Whereas in multimedia it takes us and also carries our luggage inside the dicky. So this is the greatness of multimedia wherein we are having verification instead of demanding our own inbuilt intellectual courage to imagine all of these movements, it makes us to envision the movements automatically by which very simply like a feather lift and a casual cool drink entry, it gets inside our intellectual realm or moral region by which we are capable of understanding the certain things very easily. As these three things are there, it is known as alluration, it attracts us, it makes us to get inside the classroom. It makes us to get inside the classroom without minding other commitments. It makes us to go into the syllabus without minding our physical ailments. Whereas in the conventional education system, even if we are healthy, we are pretending or we are bounded to think or imagine that we are having headache or dysentery. That is the nature of the conventional system which has created a bibliophobia among the society. Instead of creating bibliomania, it has created a bibliophobia. So it makes a person to have an inner drive, a strong urge to approach the syllabus, approach the teachers, approach the system and to make the function. These are all the various benefits of multimedia in learning, guiding, teaching, training and designing industries. So simplification is number one. And uh, the second thing is encapsulation. The third thing is beautification, auto runner. The fourth thing is alluration, which is the benefit of all of these various things. Now, we have to understand some basic thing. I've already represented about few treatises, about traditional treatises about Chitrakala Shastra. Somebody should take initiative to publish that. I've already told that. One, it deals with the basic shape of a person or structure. It deals with a structure. The first fundamental is any structure. Then the structure is mixed with uh, color and context. Then it is uh, described with uh, emotion, expression and environments. And this is the basic study. If you don't understand these principles naturally, instead of studying them in books, we have to understand and experience uh, emphatically with characteristic, contextual and environmental identity. You have to learn that. So taking a structure, understanding the motion of the structure based on lighting, lighting backgrounds, Coloring or chromatic designing, which is based on context and contextual environment and environmental expressions. And this is the hierarchy of understanding these principles. This hierarchy has resulted in innumerable industries. One is drawing industry, second is painting industry. Then they have understood that whatever the qualities of mind can be given to machine. What is the quality of mind? Mind can do a lot of imaginations. One, assembly. If he is sitting here and she is sitting somewhere else, it can bring these two things together, assembly. Number two, if his head and the body of somebody else is there, that can be done by us. That is known as assembly. That is intra-assembly and intra-assembly. We can assemble two different things. Then convert technology. What is convert technology? You can close your eyes and imagine that you are wearing a white shirt, green shirt. You can do anything. 
in a modern dress, in a traditional dress, everything you can imagine inside. There is an inner imaginary industry by which a person can be shaped, a person can be designed, and uh, if your person is so much anonymous, you can even imagine an anonymous person. It is there in gynecology also. You imagine your child and do deep meditation in penance. You can have the reflection of the resemblance of the image in your child. Likewise, there are a lot of people dreaming about their various other relativities, dreaming about various other connectivities of life. It is known as uh, base imagination or vacuum imagination. Without giving any input, with your experience of resemblance, identity, diversion and disparity, these four pa 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 positive factors, you can imagine about somebody on our castle. That is known as fertile imagination. And pretty imagination is with given inputs you can imagine about somebody. So imagination, assembly, integration of parts, disintegration of parts, you can disintegrate any part. And also a specific observation is an art. For example, if I'm seeing that boy, I'm seeing that boy as a whole. I cannot draw that boy. If I'm asked to draw that boy, I cannot do because that has not penetrated and penetrated thing cannot be reproduce in the form of any writing or narration. I don't have that skill at all. If I have that skill, I can do that. Third thing is selective observation. If I see a person, I should be able to draw the eye of the person. That is known as selective observation. Seeing a person is different from seeing a person with such an impressionable mind so that he can be reproduced either by narration, depiction or intervention. Anything should be facilitating the person to do that. That is number one. Number two is selective observation. If you see a person, you should have seen him in such a manner that each and every hair particle of the person should be known configuratively to you. You should be knowing the constitution and configuration of the person. You should be capable of drawing them by selective observation. So, selective observation, assembly, disintegration, fashioning, all of these things converts. Everything is the quality of mind. All of these qualities of mind, of retention and other things are given to machines. For example, if I hear you, then I can hold your sound. Whereas it is not possible by matter, by which sound recording came into existence. Whatever you have in your mind, that is replicated by sound recording. Image recording, I can process images, I can store images, I can return images, compare images and module images and do various other things within myself, which is being done by a machine now. So innate intelligence is replaced by artificial intelligence. Wherein by photography, script writing, painting, drawing, videography, like puppet making, then image understanding, then characteristic animation which is existing now, image editor technologies are there, page layout designing has come in publishing and various other industries, BCT technology, BCT development that has come into modern work, innumerable other various designs have come and created new industries like e-learning industry, entertainment industry, interactive web designing industry, Various other industries have come in various other things in form of various digital probabilistic suitable forms. They have come and created thousands of job opportunities for various type of people like designers, concept designers, visualizers, illustrators, then programmers, editors, camera photographers, then multimedia, 3D digital studio manufacturers and the programmers and special effect designers they have got plenty of opportunities, art designers and art makers. So innumerable people they have come into existence and in the advent of artificial intelligence like in design, Coral Draw, Multimedia, 3D Studio Max, Maya Software, various other things like AutoCAD for mechanical drawing. So it has created this type of natural urge. Urge has created lot of development of industries. Lot of industries have created lot of fields. Lot of fields have created lot of opportunities. Lot of emerging opportunities and the incompatibility of the students to get more support has created technical guidance just as for a blind person.